One way for your rotations to sound less robotic is by adding some customization to the mix. Hey there, I am Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and let's trick out your radio rotations by programming some year-based production elements. I'm talking about jingles, sweepers, liners, well, just like this. 1988. And then you play a song from that year right after. Pretty cool, right? Well, this is awesome if you run a decade-based format, but it's super useful for doing flashbacks on any other radio station. Now, there's an easy way and an SQL way to pull this off, and oh yes, I'm gonna give you both. So if you're ready to start tweaking, well, we're gonna code like it's 1999. God, this is horrible. We are on the air. <laughs> Go grab a Q-tip and carefully clean out your ears because I want to play you two ways you could use this. For this demo, I produced two year jingle elements. Now, these aren't in my normal rotation, but actually the second one I'm going to play you, I'm actually digging it. I think I may slot it in. The first one up is a simple approach. voiceover over then year element. Here we go. Triple X 80s. 1985. Super simple, but gets the point across. Now, if you want to spice things up a notch, sample this. Extreme 80s fun. 1987. Triple X 80s. Plenty old possibilities. And like I said, I currently don't use any of those jingles. The way I use this feature is a little different. We'll get to that in a second. But first, I want to show you that it's absolutely impossible to pull this off on Radio DJ without using one of two methods. First up, the easy button method, everybody's favorite, but not the most flexible or super cool. This first hack requires a little advanced knowledge of how to add music to more categories in Radio DJ. And what? <laughs> just like magic, look up there. There's a link to this video I made, how to add a whole bunch of your music or jingles or other elements to a lot of categories. You'll need that for this first method because in the example of AHA Take On Me, which is 1985, I use the language section, which I discussed in that other video, as a way to assign years to songs. So for me, 1985 is Bahari, as you see. And for Kiss, Crazy Crazy Nights, 87, we just heard, 87 is Bosnian. Okay? That may not make a bunch of sense now, but it will when we dive into the rotation screen. So with the understanding that we're using language as a way to tell Radio DJ what year a song or other element is attached to, we dive into a rotation to see how this plays out. So for example, those year jingles I just played you, they're in their own subcategory, year jingles. And this is how you tell Radio DJ within a rotation which year to play. So, for example, that first 1985 jingle, like we just found out, Bahari, for my system, is assigned to 1985. So every time this rotation element comes up, it's going to look for a year jingle of the Bahari language, which we know is 1985. So then how do you tell Radio DJ to then cue up a song from 1985? Well, you see, music... Subcategory 80s, genre top 40. Let's crack this baby open and then assign this to choose a song from the Bahari category, 1985. In that other video, I go much deeper and get you set up for success with this program. This is how I did it for a long time. But could you spot one limitation of this system? Well, you're locked in to the same year, 1985, every time this rotation runs. And just like five-day-old egg salad at the gas station, that gets old pretty quick. So what I recently stumbled on is a much more dynamic way to pull this off. And it requires some very friendly SQL code. Before I tee that up, this is how I've been using the year-driven feature element. While those two jingles I played for you are cool, I thought for an 80s station, which I run, and pff, you should be listening to, come on, triplex80s.com. I try to create the most immersive, cheesy, sickening 80s experience for listeners. 
And one element in the arsenal of cheese is this movie flashback feature, which has a sung year jingle at the end. Enough blibber blabber. Take a listen. Awesome 80s! Fast times at Ridgemont High. Mr. Spicoli. That's the name they gave me. I'm so wasted! I think you know where the front office is. Hey, bud. <laughs> Let's party. <laughs> Triple X 80s. 1982. So take a look. I've got a lot of these bad boys and girlies. 24 of these movie flashbacks from all different years. And using that first method, I'd have to have a lot of different rotations in order to make sure these rotate thoroughly. And for example, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, we know it's 1982. And the language is Basque, which in my system syncs up with 1982. Rocketing back to track rotation. I want to create a track from SQL query. And then whammo bammo, paste in our code. Okay, this is the magic code. And walking you through it, this first section selects the year, which will then determine which jingle and song is pulled from your database. This line here is basically telling it to select a song from a year from the songs database from the subcategory of 44, which for me, that's the subcategory which uh, those movie flashback jingles are in. And it's telling it to look between the years 1980 and 1989, and then order them by the date least recently played. So it uses the jingle element to set the year. And this next section is actually pulling the jingle from subcategory 44, Make sure to pick the year that it already chose in this first statement and make sure it's least recently played. So that's your jingle. Then it finds a song to match the year of the jingle. And for me, the genre 143 is my top 40 category. Subcategory 2 or 80s. And once again, it's choosing the year based on this string up here. And this section is making sure it adheres to your track and artist repeat rules. This is pretty important. This says, make sure the artist isn't already in the cue list. And once again, it's choosing songs based on least recently played. And just choosing one. Now, if you put two here, it would pull two songs from this year. With the cue locked, let's click Run Query to test it out. Okay, so it's pulling the movie Flashback, 1985, the movie Real Genius, and then it found DeBarge, You Wear it Well, a song from 1985, not 1968. But what happens if we change this to two songs? Boom, Talking Heads, and she was. And if you want to check my math, because I'm just some rando on YouTube, I'm just making all this up, I wouldn't trust me. So DeBarge, You Wear it Well, Talking Heads, and she was. Let's test this out. You were well, 1985. Talking Heads. And she was, 1985. Success! Oh, I'm sure now you want to see how that works in the rotation. So needy, but okay, I'm a giver. If this was our static year jingle before, we just replace that with, and here it is, and it's picking the jingle and the song. Unlike the first method where you're stuck with that same year every time that rotation runs, this way, every time that query runs, it's going to be pulling a fresh jingle from that category. And for example, for year jingles, which I just created for this tutorial, the more jingles I load up in here, the fresher the sound for the listener. As you can see with my movie flashbacks, ton of options, lots of different years, and that's what you want. And that gives you a more dynamic sound. Come on, say it with me. Super cool radio DJ, dude. Now, if you run a decade-based radio station and you're actually to give this little code a spin, well, I'd love to hear about it. Drop me a comment. Hey, why not even give yourself a free shout out? Sure, promote your station. I'd actually love to take a listen. Leave all that down there. I look at these things. I reply to these things. These comments bring me such joy. And they're so much cheaper than Prozac, so keep them coming. Also, let me know if content about using SQL to 
pummel Radio DJ into submission. If that floats your dinghy, well, I've got some more oven in the, uh, the, the cooker over here. We're ready to fry it up for you. Because I know for me, finding code like this has really broadened my broadcasting horizons. It's allowed me to do a lot of really cool things with my station, which just so happens to be XXX80s.com. All 80s all the time, baby. I am Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and even if you found this 8% useful, would you mind giving me a like and hitting subscribe? It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And most important, keep rocking those mics all over the world.